Hello and a very warm welcome to your weekly cultural diary, Colors of India on Radha Sabha TV. I'm Tina Jha and with the start of the fresh week, it's time for us to get you the latest on the cultural front. Beginning with the highlights first. This week, we take you to a rocking concert by Gurdas Man. Next in line is an Italian opera. And finally, a mesmerizing, enthralling Odyssey dance recital. It's often said music is the best cure for any malady, be it of the body or of the mind. And when it comes to experiencing cultures in all their authenticity, no one puts it through better than this group here. Take a look. An evening to set just the right mood. Presented by Entertainment Hub at Talkatura Stadium. Mandakini Bora started proceedings with her vocal renditions, mesmerizing the audience with her golden voice. Dakini is a budding artist from Assam. She's performed with music legends like Bhupen Hazarika and Ghazal King Gulam Ali Khan, looking to make a mark in the industry. ऐसे शोज होने बहुत जरूरी हैं क्योंकि जब तक ऐसे शोज नहीं होंगे हम लोगों को हमारे रूट्स हमारा फोक हमारे लेजेंड्स वो इन लोगों को नहीं बनाएंगे क्योंकि नई जनरेशन जैसे जैसे गाने हम लोग बना रहे हैं वैसे हम ये लोग बहुत आगे के हैं ऐसे गाने नहीं होंगे ऐसे शोज नहीं होंगे तो हम लोगों को भी कुछ आगे का करने का और कुछ बढ़िया करने का हमें हमारे दिमाग में आएगा नहीं सो इट्स वेरी गुड प्लेटफॉर्म ये बहुत अच्छा जगह था और मुझे मैंने पूरा शो बड़ा इन्जॉय किया है मैं बड़ी दूर से आया स्पेशल ये शो देखने के On to one of the biggest faces in the world of Punjabi music, the man who took the genre to the world stage. Gurdas Maan is a songwriter, choreographer, actor and a multi-talented personality. All rolled into one energetic package. Someone asked me a question, son. He said, all of the Muslims are in the world. He said, 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 कहने जी सिखा जी कौन हुए लोग की सवाल थोड़े पूछ दे मोबाइल पूछ दे यहाँ कितने खड़े हो सकते हैं पंगा कितने पैसे कर दे पंगा कितने नंगा हो सकता है कहने जी सारे आशिक मुसलमानों ने भी छुपाया सिखा जी कौन हुए कहने जी हुए तो बहुत है तो उसी इतिहास नहीं पढ़े हैं कहना पढ़ के कहने जी पढ़ के तो पन्ने किधर गए कहन Man was born in Gidarbaha village of Punjab. He grabbed national attention in 1980 with the song Dil Da Mamla Hai.
recorded over 34 albums and written over 305 songs since to assume legendary status. ਸਾਡੇ ਦਾਦਾ ਜੀ ਗੁਰਦਾਸ ਮਾਨ ਦੇ ਫੈਨ ਸੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਫਾਦਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਫੈਨ ਸੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਫੈਨ ਆ ਸਾਡੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਵੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਫੈਨ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਰਹਿਣਗੇ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਉਹ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਹੀ ਰਹਿਣਗੇ ਸਾਡੀ ਪੀੜੀ ਚੱਲਦੀ ਹੈ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਤੋਂ ਚੱਲਦੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਚੱਲਦੀ ਹੀ ਰਹੇਗੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਫੈਨ ਅਸੀਂ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਤੋਂ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਰਹਾਂਗੇ ਮੈਂ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਨਾ ਇੱਕ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨਾ ਕਿਸ ਨੂੰ ਕਿ ਰੱਬ ਰੱਬ ਦੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਹਰ ਸ਼ੋਅ ਚ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਆਨੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਗੁਰਦਾਸ ਭਾਜੀ ਨੂੰ ਨਾ ਸਿੰਗਿੰਗ ਦੀ ਬਖਸ਼ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਲੋਕੀ ਸਿੰਗਰ ਆਂਦੇ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਪਰ ਗੁਰਦਾਸ ਭਾਜੀ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਸੀ ਉਹਦੀ ਹਜੇ ਵੀ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਰਹਿਣਗੇ ਗੁਰਦਾਸ ਭਾਜੀ ਆਈ ਲਵ ਯੂ ਆਈ ਲਵ ਯੂ and the genius goes beyond popular music gurdas man is also fluent in hindi bengali tamil haryanvi and rajasthani his fans consider his voice blessed man saab har ek ko galla mela meliyan da paise teliyan da gangu teliyan da yara beliyan da jehda hatti do pakhda la thela ni assa teri tor dekhni lokan dekhna bazaki wala mela that following reflected in the exalted crowds at the event shows go beyond the popular entertainment in keeping the masses in close touch with the folk traditions that would otherwise have faded away on that note time for us to slip into a very short break we'll be right back don't go anywhere on the other side is a fundraiser event for victims of the nepal earthquake welcome back after the break art has a way of going beyond its immediate brilliance here it takes on the face and the warmth of a fundraiser artists from various genres came together in the capital recently to raise funds for victims of the nepal earthquake showcasing work of three artists with their different styles an exhibition that serves a dual purpose it goes beyond the brilliance of the art form to creating awareness and raising funds for the victims of nepal earthquake an array of styles and concept designs come together to weave warmth and brilliance It is very exciting and interesting to see all the different artists coming from different places and exhibiting what best they are at and allowing us as in the viewers as well as the connoisseurs of art to actually experience a very diversified uh, definition of art let me put it this way
Pratyek Shah's paintings have enabled a connection of people with reality. Her works have a European influence with a strong dose of feminism. The use of multiple colors make her work eye-catching while adding life and an animated eloquence. The exhibition also showcased ceramic art. Having specialized in wheel, coil and slab work, Lina Divan believes that clay is a gift of nature which you can mold, shape and create beautiful unique artifacts. Her work is themed around Shringar. This particular series which I've done for this exhibition took me about 4 months to prepare to get ready. and my inspiration for this entire series came from shringar traditional art with detailed multi-layered work defines ritu gupta an artist who uses luscious colors and dreamlike background along with her signature texture and imagery with a lively spontaneity and freedom of her brush strokes Lena creates magical and inspiring work. With traces of Indian culture, spirituality and its multitude of messages. Collections from this exhibition will be passed on to agencies involved in relief efforts in Quake Ravish Nepal. The noble aspect of artistic brilliance. The exhibition is an appreciable effort. Artworks that are born out of the cause of humanity carry with them a very very special flavor. Moving on now in the program. The drama form that we know as opera was born in Italy sometime around the year 1600. Ever since it has played a dominant role in the history of the form, evolving over time yet retaining its magical form. Delhi witnessed some of that brilliance too recently. Take a look. Italian opera as the central theme. Angela Papale and Fabio Maro presenting the great season of melodrama in the capital. The lively informal atmosphere was all Italian conveying the message of art beauty and the lively thrill of that tradition The origin of the opera in Italy is uh, a popular expression and uh, and people still love to listen to operas and to arias Um, there are maybe the possibility you know, to rearrange you know the music uh, as has been done also in you know, the pop music italian pop music so i think that italian opera will never die Celebrity Italian duo soprano Angela Papale and pianist Professor Fabio enthralled first timers and connoisseurs alike. <laughs> 
as they performed some of the most famous Italian arias from various operas. Three of Italy's most beloved opera composers, Verdi, Ponchielli and Puccini were chosen to be the highlights in this opera. Now the show is the cinema. In the last century the show was opera. And a popular is a moment, popular moment to go into theater and listen uh, the singer, uh, orchestra, and uh, also um, very, very um, full, successful of this uh, musical and uh, um, poetry um, uh, moment. Italian soprano Angela Papale is an award winning musician. Music critics have heaped praise on her for her warm timbre and particularly expressive voice combined with a strong stage presence. Papale and her husband pianist Fabio Mara mesmerized audiences. was presented as a truly fashionable and classy gala, an opportunity to enjoy the beauty of Italian cultural traditions. With that, time for us to slip into another very quick break. We'll be right back. Do stay with us. After the break, a breathtaking performance by none other than the master. Welcome back. Among the many treasures of Indian classical dances, Dating back thousands of years is Odissi, a jewel in the crown. Besides the numerous private dance classes around the nation, a special performance by a maestro always raises awe and wonder. Here's one masterpiece staged in the capital this week. Dance U's classical dance exponent Gita Malik brings to life the importance of the hallowed feet of Lord Vishnu through the Odyssey. In a choreography of the work Vishnupada Rasmrita, Gita displays Lord Vishnu in his Bhavana avatar, putting his foot on King Bali's head and pushing him to Nagalok, thus releasing him from his mortal existence. I 
I always love to take a story-based uh, concept for my dance drama because everyone knows the story, Hindu mythology, the child, uh, you know, starting from the child to the adult, everyone knows the, the uh, story. So they enjoy themselves and they relate also, uh, they can understand it very well. And uh, especially uh, what I think the children these days are not very aware of our uh, root, our mythology and our other things also. So from there in the dance form they can enjoy and they can understand very well. Described in the scriptures, the holy feet are worshipped by devotees over centuries in the Hindu tradition as a source of goodness and victory over evil. The next episode depicts the beautiful damsel Ahalya who was turned to a lifeless stone due to curse of her husband Gautam. She was later brought back to life with Lord Ram, an avatar of Vishnu, touching her. This was an absolutely exquisite performance presented by Guru Gita Mahalikji and all her artists. And I am a extremely grateful that I was here and witness this absolutely marvelous performance. I consider our uh, culture as our identity and, and Indianness is in our culture. And everything that was uh, presented today was a description of our culture. In fact, uh, the story uh, which was narrated in the dance form was absolutely wonderful. Gita Mahalik brings the traditional techniques of Odyssey to life through her subtle choreography. The history of the Odyssey dance has been traced to early sculptures found in the Rani Gumpha caves at Udaygiri dating to the 2nd century BC. Among the oldest classical dances rooted in rituals and tradition. shows draw massive interest for their aesthetic brilliance. They also teach and enthuse the younger generation to remind them of the rich cultural heritage. With that, it's time for me to wrap up this particular episode of Colors of India. We'll see you same time next week with more exciting and colorful stories. Until then, take very good care. Goodbye from the entire team.